an introduction to intellectual property in this series of lectures we will first look at the basics of intellectual property rights is there a definition for intellectual property then we look at the different types of rights that are conferred under intellectual property rights we will also look at the different kinds we have copyright we have trademarks we have patents and we have other new sets of rights as well then we move on to the origin of intellectual property rights now intellectual property rights is tied to human creativity so we look at human creativity there was a point in human history where only discoveries were considered to be acts of human endeavor human beings were not attributed with creativity rather they were attributed with the ability to discover things that were already there later on in human history we found that there was a point in time where we started looking at human creativity as a product in itself it was not something that was derived or it was of divine origin it was something which human beings were themselves capable of so at that point you will find that the need to protect the works of creativity also arose so we find that creativity in itself had an impact on the growth and origin of intellectual property rights then we move to the growth phase now when intellectual property rights came they came at a point in history where there was rapid acceptance of the idea so you first find intellectual property rights being accepted by the countries at the national levels and then we also see movement at the international level and we will see how this has now reached a state where there is quite a lot of international law making that is happening around intellectual property rights either in the form of multilateral treaties like the world trade organization or in the form of bilateral treaties between countries so the growth again you will see that the growth is a modern phenomena and it is tied to industrial revolution and various other creative endeavors of human human beings and you will find that the growth has been a steady growth intellectual property right as a term itself is of recent origin but we find that the term has been accepted and used in recent times staggering pace and finally we look at learning intellectual property intellectual property is of interest in two broad domains of study there is law in which intellectual property rights are treated as a separate subject and it is taught in law schools and we also find interest for intellectual property rights in the management schools where it figures as a part of an innovation course on innovation or entrepreneurship or even legal aspects of business